guys welcome back to another episode of Corvettes 918 and well I'm gonna give uh, the Black Mamba her monthly bath and I haven't made a video on washing the car in a while so I figured I would just uh, grab the camera I've got the GoPro get a little little different angle you know you guys see me uh, with the foam cannon and the different things but I'm gonna show you the products that I use on the car uh, kind of my own technique now I know when you're talking about washing cars that's almost like talking politics and uh, people are very sensitive to different products and the products they use and the methods they use and I, hey I understand that again washing is you finding your own way using the products you like to use to get the results that you want I'm gonna kind of show you how I wash my car and, and again what I use to do that uh, so guys, let's get her out here. I actually use a North Star power washer, as you can see. And it is a 3000 PSI, which is kind of overkill or too much. Um, but I always use the uh, 25 degree nozzle uh, whenever I'm washing the car. Um, but that's kind of the power washer that I use. got to have a two bucket system you really don't have to but I use a two bucket system I use a wash mitt and what I do is I usually put my wash mitt down in and I use as you guys can see I use mr. pink and I, it's just I think a preferable choice for me it's made by chemical guys I know a lot of different guys use atoms um, but you know the, the main thing is you're wanting to make sure that it's pH balanced so that you know you're not leaving a ton of uh, water spots all over the car and all I do is just kind of put some all over the the mitt itself then I take my foam cannon which you know everybody's got to have a foam cannon right the foam cannon now all the stuff that I use I have linked below so maybe you know you don't have a foam cannon the only thing I don't have linked below is my power washer but you know anything that with over I think it's like 1700 psi you you're more than gonna have more than enough to do what you need to do now whenever I am filling up my foam cannon again as far as soap that I put in I put in about usually about three ounces or usually I have this uh, funnel here and typically I'll just fill it up and let it drain on down into the but always kind of a trick that I've I've learned is instead of putting water in this and then trying to put soap or just f put your soap inside of your your um, foam can and then just dip it down into the water and let it just fill up it fills up all the way to the top once the bubbles stop and you're ready to go. And then I always just give this a good shake, kind of get the soap that's going to be on there. So we'll come back to this in a moment. What I do is I always clean my tires and my wheels first. I mean, my thought process behind it is, <clears throat> you know, I get these clean so that when I get the car done, I'm not over here messing with these, trying to get them cleaned and you've got water and different things like that drying on the car um, so these are you know of course gonna be dirty so I'm I always just start here but I put some rubber cleaner on for to get way back in here I actually use it's a longer it's not you know of course there's not much here 
but it's long because these tires are so wide. I mean, you know, you got 285s on the front, you got 325s on the back. I mean, those are those are massive wheels. And so I'll, what I'll do is I'll just type, typically just get back up inside of there, you know, and this is kind of just a, a plastic or a hard, you know, you can actually kind of move this stuff around. So it's, you don't have to worry about this scratching your, your wheels or anything like that. And then, for the sake of, of the video, usually I'll have my power washer on right now and I'll just blow this off as I go through here. Uh, but that's how I kind of get the, the wheel wells all the way back up inside of there. Once I do that, then I'll hit the, the, the rims. The product that I really, really like, actually I just got this. Uh, it's kind of a lamb skin type material, uh, but it's uh, kind of a little bitty wash mitt made for your, for your wheels. It just fits right on right on your hand on the inside. It's kind of a uh, almost almost like a rubber material sort of inside of there. You could you know probably even you know get this kind of soapy a little bit if you wanted to. You know this is a if you have a, a Z06 or a Grand Sport or you know even a Stingray, then you guys know the brake dust is horrific on these unless you change out the Brembo pads with the ceramic pads which I've done on this car. So again, this kind of lets you just, you can kind of take this thing and, you know, in some of those areas, you can go way back inside of there. You can really get your brake calipers really good because you can, you know, push this back, back and back up behind there with your fingers. What I've found that when I, when I clean with this, it just, when I come back later on, it's just all of this is really nice and clean. You know, kind of usually work the back of it just up through here, turn it around a little bit. I've got, now I've got the wheels done. The next thing I'm going to do is get the car wet as far as just kind of spray it down. Then once I get it sprayed down, I'm going to hit it with the foam. Now, after I hit, hit it with the foam, I usually let the foam drip off of the car. That way, it's kind of, you know, it's not really, this car isn't extremely dirty anyway, but it is lifting the dirt off and, and kind of running down. And that way, there's not a whole lot of, uh, you know, maybe, you know, some the dirt that's on there. The more dirt you can get off before you start touching the car, the better, less chances for, for scratches and swirls and things like that. part that we all want the foam cannon so we're going to set this up here again just kind of quick connects it As you can see, I mean, how thick that stuff is. I mean, it's just thick. Oh, we start at the top. And again, when I'm washing my car, I'm really not, I'm really not hardly even pushing down. I'm just kind of just gliding the mat over the car. guys ready for football season I don't know about you guys but I'm I'm really excited wash down so the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, rinse her off going to dry it off and I've just got a waffle weave drying towel um, and you know I just kind of you know there's not really a way that I drag this thing any particular way 
uh, I just kind of I always try to go the same direction the main process right here is just to get the water off because I'm actually gonna dry it here in a minute with a microfiber towel what I'm trying to do is just get most of the water off the car Okay, now guys now that I have have it pretty much all wiped off I take my blower and I just go around and I blow all of the little nicks and crannies Now my final step with the car, and it's starting to get pretty dark out here, but my final step is to actually do a full dry on it. And I use a drying aid, uh, Kinotech. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two of these plush microfiber towels. I, I just, the, out of all the microfibers I've ever used, these are probably my workhorse because they trap a lot of dirt, but they're also, and the more and more that I, I've had these now for probably over a year, the more I wash them, the softer they get. Again, I just go through and lightly spray on some of this. And then I just wipe it down. This stuff has a unique smell to it. I've never really smelt anything like it before. It's, it's not a bad smell, but it's just different. <laughs> I just kind of go back over the areas that I just did. with a new towel or a clean towel or one that's not didn't have anything on it that's this week's video I hope you enjoyed it uh, probably wasn't the most exciting video you know I'm not racing anybody or doing a 140 down the highway in Mexico of course but wanted to kind of show you guys what I do to the car how I maintain it I'm gonna do another video in the future of you know what I do to the car when I'm like going to a car show or maybe just you know doing a, a quick detail things like that on it because I like things that are quick simple and easy and I think I found some products that do that but guys um, until I see you at the next video I hope you have a great day and uh, let's check out some of your rides And I didn't understand that you